Hey guys, what's going on? The Minecrafter here, and uh, we're back. Um, finally feeling better, not coughing my head off 24 hours a day. And yeah, so let's get right into it. Uh, today we have a tutorial for you guys. Um, how to install single player commands, so you can pretty much do all the commands you could do in a server. They're a little different, but they're not hard to learn. Um, pretty much do everything you can in a server in single player, like change the time of to day or night, which is really useful, which is what I use it basically for in setting uh, <coughs> setting waypoints. So yeah, let's get right into it. First thing you're going to want to do is click on the link in the description. It'll bring you to uh, the Minecraft forum, and it'll bring you to the single player commands mod page. And once you click on that link, you're going to want to scroll down all the way down to current downloads and then direct download. And then you just want to download that and save it wherever you want. Okay, and then once you do that, um, you wherever you saved it, navigate to it, and then you're going to want to right click and extract, extract the files. And then you'll get a folder that looks like this. Double click that, and these are all the files you need. Okay, so let's put that put that to the side. Now what you're going to do is you're going to, if you've never um, opened your Minecraft folder, what you're going to want to do is go to run and type this right here, percent app data percent, and then OK. And this will bring you to your roaming folder. If you have been in your Minecraft folder, you can just go to your user which is mine, my name's Matt, so I do Matt and then app data and roaming. And it'll bring you right in here too. And then go to dot minecraft and go in bin. And then you're gonna what you're wanna gonna do is copy this over, right click, copy, and then go to your desktop, right click, paste. And it's just a backup in case you mess something up, you'll have an extra minecraft.jar you can just toss in there if you screw it up. Okay, now you're going to want to go back in there. Okay, and then what you're going to want to do is right click, open with Archiver. <coughs> and then the first thing you're going to want to do once you get inside the Minecraft.jar is delete the folder that says meta-inf. I'll put a little annotation right here somewhere, and uh, it'll show you the folder name. Mine's gone already because I've deleted it, but it's meta-inf. Just right-click delete. You don't need it at all. For the mod to work, you can't have it. Okay, and then once you do that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your single-player commands folder that you downloaded. And you're going to want to cop copy every class file into minecraft.jar. Make sure you don't drag it on top of a folder because then it'll screw it up. So everything that says class file, you're going to want to move in here. Just drag it over here like that. I mean, make sure it's not on top of a folder, otherwise it'll mess it up. And once you do all that, you can close out of Minecraft.jar and go back to your bin folder. And once you're at your bin folder, you're going to want to copy the world edit executable jar file and just drag that in here. And it'll ask you move and replace and you're gonna that's what you want to click move and replace but I don't want to do that because I already have it installed and once you move that over you can exit out and that should be good um, that's all you have to do to install single player commands uh, if you guys have any questions on how to install this mod uh, leave a comment below and I will respond to you as soon as I can so yeah uh, keep an eye out for a lot more videos and that's it. Talk to you guys later. Peace.